Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another reaction video. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and today we're gonna do another reaction video. This one right here is a very interesting one. But before I get started, guys, I want to say thank you for everybody who's been subscribing, guys. It's super amazing. Um, thank you for hitting that subscription button. For the suggestions that people are gonna uh thank you for the suggestion for everyone who's been giving us in the comment section below, you guys are super super amazing. And once again, thank you for everybody who share who we like sharing and the people who are actually watching uh and the people who are just not watching and not subscribing also we want to thank you too so today we're going to do another interesting video and this one right here is do you know that jesus is appearing to muslims by the million so without any further ado guys let's get it there are eight billion question. there are eight billion people in the world the people who have never heard of jesus do not have dreams of him yeah but there, there definitely okay. are people who have never heard of jesus and yeah. they have these visions they okay. have these dreams bart airman and justin bass are on the unbelievable podcast are having a debate about jesus did he actually rise from the dead if he is risen from the dead shouldn't there be some kind of external contemporary modern proof of that well justin bass gets into this phenomenon which is very fascinating which is the amount of people who are claiming to have seen a vision or a dream of Jesus in the modern era in 2023. I want to say this as a teaser because I have a commentary to make here at the end of this video that I'm going to get into in a little bit more depth. And I'm going to give you as a teaser a little data point here. 25% of Muslims in the Middle East who come to Christ do so having seen him first in a vision or a dream. 25%. With that being said, let's dive into the topic. The fact that Jesus is appearing all over the world, almost every nation, for the last 2,000 years to Hindus, to Buddhists, to Muslims, to Jews, and they're converting, I, I don't know of any other faith that could make such a claim. So this is, this is I think, a unique phenomenon. There, there's even, a, a, I think Bart, Bart's aware of this because he referenced Philip Wiebe's book, Visions of Jesus, which, which I'm... Uh, had en enjoyed reading in, in preparing uh, in preparation for my book and and he talks about how there's even a separate study in the psychological understanding of the paranormal and and of, of these type of things called christic visions because they're so common and there there's so many this is happening so mm. often and so so that that's what what i would say is it's really truly a unique phenomenon with again the person of jesus so this is just another line of evidence to add to all these others that we've been talking about that I think suggests this Jesus rose from the dead. Okay. Bob. Well, I don't really have anything to say about it. I mean, you know, uh, I, I'm pretty sure you do, Bob. Oh no, I really don't. I mean, because I don't think it's an I don't think it's any evidence of anything. I mean, okay. people have dreams about all sorts of things. It doesn't mean the thing is real. I mean, so I uh, I'm sorry. I, I've never thought about it, studied it. I, I read this book and it's it was good book. It, one. It's very is very weird, very strange. I don't believe it really happened. As you know, the film disappeared. <laughs> well, well, I, yeah, I I don't. But, yeah. but but he interviewed, <laughs> just so you know, he, he's talking about a film that they believe they saw Jesus. I don't buy that either. Okay. But there was 32 individuals he interviewed that gave very, yeah. people no, from yeah, Canada, people remarkable. from Australia, yeah. people from America that gave powerful, I, I was okay. convinced, that they but have the seen the fact people have Jesus. dreams and visions of, you know, something like yeah, Christ. Yeah, well, it's not true, that, you, it's not true that it only happens in Christianity, of course. Okay, well, yeah. what other Well, it's very famous in the ancient it? world. I mean, people... Uh, in one of the one of the great healing gods of the Greeks was, um, um, was Asclepius, and the way the uh, the healing rituals worked is that there be there was a shrine of Asclepius. He was a, a divine being, a Greek divine being who, who could heal people, and people who were had a problem. They had breast cancer, or they had a maimed limb, or they had uh, cancer. They had whatever they had. Uh, they they were blind. They'd go to an Asclepium. It was called Asclepium, and it would uh, and they would. Um, the way it worked is you would go to sleep in there, and you'd spend the and Asclepius would come to the person, and heal them. Uh, and we have abundant testimony, hundreds of of uh, testimonies that this worked. Uh, and we actually have a number of these Asclepia where, that have been dug up by archaeologists that is, they're, they're actually pretty interesting because they would make uh, representations of the body part that got healed. And so you'd have their walls covered with, with breasts okay. and penises and arms and eyes and right. ears, depending on what. And, and so it was all based on uh, a dream cult. And Asclepius isn't the only one. We have all sorts of cults involving Zeus, for example. And so throughout history, of course, there have been lots of cults that claim that, that they're, uh, the person is being 
you know, dreamed of okay. and, and healing them. Oh, okay. That is fascinating. Fascinating, you know, history. You know, I've learned a lot about Asclepius, but I just have to ask you, Bart, who has Asclepius appeared to lately? Uh, just last night, I had a really interesting dream. <laughs> and, you know, and it proves that Asclepius is raised from the dead because well, I dreamed about it. Let me it. ask you this. If people, <laughs> if people from all over the world started thinking that Asclepius was appearing to them, or Apolloni Siftiana, or yeah. Moroni, or That'd any of great. them. Yeah. W wouldn't that be something? Wouldn't, wouldn't you go, wow, that may yeah, be something Yeah, that would be something. This. Yeah, that would be something. But it's happening with Jesus. I don't think so. No, no, no. it's a fact that it's happening. No, it's it, not. It's, how it's, many, just a, how, it's just whether or not how many he's actually you, appearing look, to them. There are, That's 8 your billion, there are 8 billion people in the world. The people who have never heard of Jesus do not have dreams of him. No, uh, one of the examples in my book is Samuel Morris, a, a, a guy from Libya, and he he heard the voice of Jesus. He went to Taylor. I'm here to Taylor University. They have a statue for him. They 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 dedicated a whole hall for him. He had never heard of Jesus. He heard the voice of Jesus. He survived this tribal attack. It's an amazing story. I mean, yeah, again, it's amazing. Great. Like Pickett's Lapide, you know, Great. you should look into these. Great. These are powerful. Yeah. Yeah. But there there definitely Great. are people who have never heard of Jesus, and yeah. they have these visions. They okay. have these dreams. Okay, so like I mentioned, I'm going to dive in here to an article. This is actually from GotQuestions.org. It has to do with Muslims, dreams, and visions. This idea of if Jesus is risen. Is he still operating in the world today? So there are many reports of Muslims converting to Christianity due to having a dream or experiencing a vision in which Jesus appeared to them. The accounts vary somewhat, but they virtually all have the same aspects in common. One, Jesus appears to them. Two, Jesus tells them to find and speak to a person at a certain time and place. Three, when the Muslim follows Jesus' instructions, he or she finds the person exactly at the right place and time, and the person explains who Jesus is and presents the gospel to them. Four, the Muslim believes that Jesus is the Messiah and Savior and places his or her faith in him, renouncing Islam. Pretty compelling. What are Christians to make of such claims? Considering what happened to the Apostle Paul, there is no reason to doubt such accounts. In Acts chapter 9, Jesus appears to Paul in a vision and told Paul to go to Damascus and wait. Jesus then sent Ananias to Paul. Ananias explained the gospel to Paul and Paul became a Christian. Paul's life was then transformed. He was changed from a persecutor of Christians to a follower of Jesus who powerfully declared the gospel through much of the Roman world. So I think it's fascinating to look at Paul as kind of a case study example of what is also happening in the Muslim world. Now the question is, do we need to rely on dreams and visions? Is this something that we should expect or or that we should allow? I think what I want to say is like to, in a sense, give us a crutch. The biblical mandate is very clearly on us, the people of God, to do the work of God in the world, to go out into the world to every nation, tongue, and tribe, preaching the gospel, right? That, that's what's on us. But I think what happens is when there are external factors that restrict that and that make that either incredibly difficult or impossible, like what's happening in the Muslim world, I do think that God actually, in a sense, steps up and works outside of what is normative or what is prescriptive. And he actually loves people so much that he's even willing to, to speak to them, to meet them in a vision or in a dream. And so um, this is something to think about, you guys. Christ is risen. He's not just, um, you know, sitting on the throne stagnantly in heaven. He's also working in the world today. He's meeting people today. He's working through the people of God, through his church, but he's also working himself uh, to, to reach people's hearts. And this also raises interesting questions when it comes to unreached people groups, people who have yet to have human uh, preachers come to them and preach the gospel. It's actually a fascinating topic. Um, you can see the skeptical mind of Bart Ehrman being so resistant to this idea um, and wanting to, in a typical sense, place Jesus back into the category of myth and, and all of that. Um, but I do think that it's very compelling that, again, 25% of Muslims who come to Christ do so because he came to them first in a vision or a dream. Pretty cool. If you guys like this kind of content, let me know in the comments below. Like, subscribe, all the things, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Pretty interesting uh, <laughs> video over here. So we have two gentlemen here trying to debate on Jesus appearing on Muslims, or appearing on people rather, over the world and whatnot. You see, when we talk about appearing, most likely in the dreams or maybe physically or maybe i don't know but one thing i know i don't think jesus can appear to you physically or you can see him 
I don't think that's really possible. Maybe in your dreams, you can appear as probably him or something else. But again, if you think about it, let's say I live in a village somewhere where um, I don't know who Jesus is. I've never known. I was raised in this primitive uh, uh, village where there's just mountains and so many trees and whatnot. No one has told me about Jesus. And let's say Jesus appears into my dreams. Will I ever know that that was Jesus or it was just a random guy just coming to me and whatnot? So this is the question that we should ask ourselves. You know, um, most of the people don't know who Jesus is. Most of the people don't know who Muhammad is. Most of the people don't know who the people in the Bible are. Do they have visions? Yes, they probably. Some of them are being uh, visited by this people in the Bible or something like that but they don't have an idea of who they are so they might just think it's just any other person that they just talk to and all this kind of stuff and whatnot but again what I understand about dreams is that or visions is that if you happen to have this repetitive mind or you've been seeing something for too long or you've been saying something for too long then most likely it's gonna appear to you in your dreams most likely in dreams not in also in real life it can happen but not not to an extreme where you start saying something in front of you no not physically maybe kind of spiritually and whatnot what I but what i'm trying to say is this let's say i've i've, I've I'm, I'm just from watching a horror movie and uh, i just go to sleep immediately what's gonna happen is that in my dreams, I will tend to have some weird dreams of um, horrorish kind of things because the last thing I saw before sleeping was a horror movie. So I will tend to have that image in my mind and in my subconscious mind, it will just be showing and showing. Do you understand? So um, I'm not doubting people are seeing Jesus in their dreams or uh Jesus is appearing to them and whatnot. But again, I was listening to this guy and I picked one or two things. The guy who was doing the commentary, he talked about the Christ has risen. So for me, I understand there's what we call the Christ conscious and not the Jesus Christ. Now I'm going into another aspect of things. The Christ conscious is, everybody has this, you know? It depends on how you perceive it. And how it comes to you people tend like the uh, the commentator was talking with a lot of emotions that he's trying to say that it's true that jesus is appearing to it's true that jesus is appearing to each and every person or probably muslims or or millions of people around the world which it, it can be true but the moment we are driven with emotions then we tend to not think in a critical way or think in a critical manner. I'm not saying that he's not thinking in a, in a critical way, but I'm saying that let's not involve too much emotions when it comes to certain things. That way we tend to have imbalance of trying to understand the other aspect of things. The Christ conscious is, um, you see, yes. So um, the Christ of reason, I believe is the Christ conscious, which rises, which ascends all the way to heaven and by heaven it can be anywhere in your body where you feel like you've reached the peak or the polaris to a point where you, um you see the light or you see the truth you see it right there right in your face okay and once you start having that christ consciousness in you then you become aware you see the light so you you're, you're not easily tricked you're not easily driven aside or put asunder and all those kind of stuff so yeah um it's a never-ending topic because remember we're dealing with fictitious people fictitious people who who existed back in the days but we don't have 100 percent proof of who they look like but we believe that they existed you know it's just by believing we're making it uh, a lot. I mean, just by believing, we are making it 
feel alive and we're making it look and 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 we're making them appear even in our dreams and whatnot yes so you know just let me know in the comment section what do you think about the entire thing in the comment section below let me know i like having this kind of conversation i know i'm not it's not like i i know so much i'm just trying to ask myself so many questions i'm, I'm getting to a point where i'm trying to understand why am i here there's a purpose for me to be here but was that main thing that brought me here do you understand and by understanding things in deeper manner i will probably figure out that purpose and whatnot so without any further ado guys just let me know in the comment section below what do you think don't forget to subscribe hit that subscription bell if you want to be the first person to watch our videos and without uh, father, do you guys? I'm gonna see you later and do this. <music>